Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, dark skies across much of Ada and portions of Canyon County as well. And Gem County, latest radar shows lightning. It's been tracking through Boise County. It has died out. It is pushing towards Boise. So no lightning reported in Boise, but nearby, just to the north here. And there still could be some lightning coming in from this and a couple more storms to the north. Uh, they'll tend to fade out, though, as the evening goes. But look at this storm system right here near Emmett, just north and west of Emmett. Bright red showing up, likely some hail showing here. Very heavy downpours as well. So northern Ada County getting the light rain. Right now, light to moderate rain in some locations. Eagle just about to get hit hard with this storm system and temperatures dropping into the 60s from the upper 70s where we had the rain. Look at this, 85 in Ontario right now and sunny with almost, well, very light winds. Gusty breezes are about to head in that direction, but it's only 67 at the airport with the winds gusting 48 miles an hour now, gusting at 40 miles per hour. Magic Valley getting some thunderstorms as well as some of the wind out of these storms is now fueling these uh, storms down to the south. So it's only this isolated region. <laughs> right in here getting the showers and storms again and there it is Emmett on the north side of Emmett very heavy rain now falling expect very heavy downpours and some pea size hail at least coming out of this system as it tracks towards the southwest so Canyon County you've gotten some wind probably going to get a little rain as well Meridian now getting some rain Eagle getting hit pretty hard now as a heavy downpour it will end here in the next 30 minutes as this storm system kind of moves on down to the south from northeast to southwest we're drying it out this is Eagle now with the darker greens here getting some pretty heavy rain in Emmett this is a pretty strong line it seems to want to be developing as well, and that could head towards Highway 52 here, and then eventually the interstate north and west of Caldwell. So keep an eye for these storms this evening. Eventually they will die on out. There's that cluster right there. There's some clear skies to the mountains. McCall's had beautiful weather. All that moisture kind of staying across southern Idaho as the storm system, which has been to the south, continues to slide to the east now near the four corners, still exiting slowly to the east. Tomorrow a threat for storms will be a little bit less, but there's that slight chance it'll be drying out from the west, and there's high pressure will start to bring the warm, if not hot, weather in from the west. So the future cast shows storms drying out overnight tonight. Tomorrow morning, we're talking 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, a lot of sunshine again and warm temperatures during the afternoon. Notice how there's a chance for storms, similar locations, but not as powerful, though we still may get some of that cloud cover in the afternoon in the Treasure Valley. So we'll keep a close eye on that. In the meantime, the big storm will be this building ridge of high pressure starting to spread that warmth back down in our direction. We still have the isolated storms out there, but all in all, they will dry out from day to day. So after tomorrow, that's it. They're gone. So Friday, lots of sunshine. And this is a huge ridge bubble here of high pressure, warm temperatures, hot temperatures. In fact, it'll be getting hotter. The cool air sliding towards the east. It's very much like a almost a summer, early summer jet stream here. A little bit cool air in the northeast you wouldn't typically get, but the jet stream certainly pushing towards the north here in western sections, and it should keep us dry. These are thunderstorms along the edge of the jet stream here. It may not come in until Monday, so that means we've got some nice weather coming in. Treasure Valley forecast coming up for tomorrow, 90 in Ontario. That's tomorrow, 90. 83 in Boise. We see 84 Mountain Home and Meridian, 85 in Caldwell. So getting hotter tomorrow. Still the chance for that stray storm in the afternoon tomorrow. We may get some cloud cover later in the day, but a lot of sunshine until about 2 in the afternoon at least. 70s in Long Valley, 80s in Garden Valley, up in Idaho City. We saw the heavy rain up there near the springs. There should be 79 tomorrow with still the chance for a thunderstorm in the Boise Mountains. That won't go away till Friday. And look at these temperatures in Boise. 88 Saturday, 90 degrees on Mother's Day. Thunderstorms could cool down a little bit during the day on Monday. But this is a warming trend. Seattle and Portland have already been up into the mid to at times upper 80s. And that weather, the warm weather is coming from Seattle. And we had thunderstorms today coming from Idaho City. So not a typical week yeah. here. Yeah. And being way above average, too. Way above. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Scott. You bet. Coming up on.